Hey Virgo, welcome to my third channel, my Virgo only channel. My name is Chelsea and it's reading. We're going to find out who has been thinking about you and why. Today is the 9th of May 2024. Time here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia is 6.40 a.m. Um, Virgo, I'm giving away a free personal reading once a week for a lucky winner. To enter, hit like, subscribe and comment below. I love Virgo. Winners will be announced on the community page weekly. All right, Virgo, let's get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me for Virgo. What's been thinking about Virgo and why? Virgo, please bear in mind that roles can be reversed between you and this person. Three of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So you and this person has have had some good times together. Okay, celebrated or you know dining or attending events together or parties. But I feel like the Three of Cups could also indicate that this person could be thinking about wanting to see you again. Um, this is also a reunion reunion card for me. We've got the Four Wands. Also. This person may be thinking about being with you. Um, it could also be memories of when both of you were inside a building, in a room, in a house. Okay. Because these definitely look like happy times. But the sun here is in reverse. So this person could be thinking about how unhappy they are right now. Either because there is an ending, <clears throat> excuse me, between the two of you or there is a sense of rejection, okay? You may have rejected this person in the past or the connection may have started happy, exciting because the wands indicate something that is exciting and passionate, but then it didn't take off. But I do have two different versions of this reading Virgo that's the first one but the second one that I'm seeing here <clears throat> Virgo is that whether it could be you or them or both of you but there's somebody here with the eight of Pentacles where I feel like this person could be thinking about you because they're too busy or you're too busy working okay it's almost like that energy of like don't have time for each other whether you used to you know whether you're still together or not um this is the second version okay virgo so this person could be a leo could be a virgo capcom taurus any fixed signs can be any sign doesn't matter okay we all we all have multiple signs in our chart <clears throat> virgo i'm still a little bit sick so please bear with me but i'm definitely getting better got these six of pentacles so could be a libra because I'm seeing the wing skill here, although the pentacles is Virgo, Capcom, Taurus, but Virgo, this person has been thinking about the things that you have done for them out of the kindness of your heart. As you can see, this person is kind, right? Whether it's cooking for them or eating with them, um, having, having company, that's what I'm seeing here, okay? Any kindness, you've helped them or support them, talk to them, Whatever the case, it could be Virgo with the Knight of Pentacles. They could be thinking about the future with you, Virgo. If you are separated, they're thinking about reconciling, working towards reconciling with you because we've got the Ten of Pentacles. It's a big, you know, this is like a long-term solid energy. So that's why I feel like there could be two different versions in this. You know, the reason why I do different versions is because it's a general reading. It's not a personal reading, okay? But if you want to book me for a personal reading, that's tailor me just for you and not for the masses. All the information is in the description box below. Virgo, okay, back to first the first version. So this person could be somebody you separated from, but working towards wanting to reconcile with you, be reunited with you. They're not too happy right now because they're stuck or that they feel like with Ace of Wands and Love First, the connection sort of didn't take off. Um, 
If that's the case, Virgo, they could be thinking about this time around, they want to offer you something, okay? Because the Ace of Wands, although it's exciting, it's a very passionate energy, but there is lack of stability, okay? So if this could also be somebody you've had a fling with, or even even in a relationship with, or friends with benefits, whatever, okay? But the fire doesn't always burn. And I feel like, I do read Ace of Wands in my it's like, okay, now it's no longer like new and exciting, but because of the surrounding cards right here, these cards right here, it makes me feel like it has changed or it has evolved to something more meaningful or serious. So Virgo, I feel like this person, wh whoever this person is, okay, <clears throat> is, thinking, is thinking about getting serious with you. Um, even if you're separated, thinking about getting serious with reconciling with you, offering you um, commitment. But if this is someone <clears throat> you're not separated from, I do see that this is somebody who is like, thinking about, hey, I, I need to work hard on this connection or I need to work hard on myself. And within that pentacles, I want to do right by Virgo. I want to be that partner whom is committed, reliable, because I'm looking at this connection in a way bigger picture. I want this connection to sustain, to have a future. Okay, Virgo. I mean, um, getting a lot of a lot of these messages for you virgo like it feels like there is some sort of commitment coming okay being offered to you um but let me know in the comment box below if you're single or if you are currently dating someone or in a relationship with someone but virgo don't forget i mentioned it i mentioned this earlier on that uh, i'm giving away once a week a free personal reading and if you want to enter, you can just comment below. Um, I love Virgo and click like and subscribe. Okay. And I will, um, I will announce the winner on uh, the community on the community page section. Okay. So make sure you also hit on the bell notification button. Now Virgo, let's see more. Sorry, my voice. <clears throat> So I'm still a little bit stuffy. We've got the Page of Pentacles here. Yeah, this person is thinking about wanting to talk to you. They want to talk to you. They want to offer you something. And look at the King of Wands here. It's a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Definitely um, a strong fire and strong earth. Okay, we've got the Ten of Cups right here. Another Ten and Four Pentacles in Love Verse. I feel like this is somebody who has been thinking about, I need to open up to Virgo. Um, maybe I'm ready, okay? This person is almost ready, if not already ready, if this is already happening right now. And the Seven of Pentacles, I feel like this person could be thinking about investing his or her time in you, in this energy. For wands, building some sort of a foundation with you, stability, six of pentacles. And the world of verse, Virgo, your reading has been pointing towards somebody who wants to commit to you, okay? Or you wanting to commit to somebody. And um, if you're single, maybe there's a commitment coming, there's somebody new coming in or it could be somebody you still are currently seeing kind of seeing casually whatever the case it could be but this person is going to is thinking about i'm going to stick around i'm going to invest my time in virgo my energy because a lot of pentacles here <laughs> one two three four five six and you know pentacles it's earth so earth elements are very grounded very solid and number four for wands is you know stability as well so it makes me feel like 
Maybe this is somebody also who has been thinking about how stable you are, okay, for them. Um, or how stable you've been for them, especially if this is someone you're separated from. Because the only reason why, I feel like for some of you, Virgo, the sun in reverse, you know, not the happiest. I mean, but it's not that bad anyways. It could just mean that I think I will be happy, but I'm just going to not... Um, I'm not going to get too excited about it yet so that I won't get disappointed. It could also mean that, okay? So this is somebody who's very passionate about you, desires you, and wants to be with you. Um, but Virgo, yeah, definitely seeing two groups of you. One is someone from your past, but it could also be two people thinking about you. One is from your past whom has been thinking about wanting to be with you again, reconcile with you, and um, another person who whom is actually serious with you. <laughs> I don't know what else to say, Virgo, because look at this. Look at all of these cards here. Can I trust Virgo? Nine of Wands in reverse. Or I can trust Virgo. Somebody who is going to trust you or thinking about maybe they want to see if they could trust you. Somebody who wants to trust you, okay? It could be either either one of the, these things. But we're going to pull out more cards to your Virgo. Let's see more. Three of Wands and one verse. And we've got four swords. Now this is definitely thinking a lot, right? I think this person has been strategizing a lot. And they're going to put... Whatever they've been thinking about strategizing into action, this person loves you, Ace of Cups, or starting to catch feelings for you. Also could be thinking about letting go of other options, turning their back on the th a third party if they're currently dealing with somebody, okay? The Sun Pentacle is like, is it worth it? Am I gonna see? Is the outcome going to be what I want it to be? So I feel like Virgo, this person is serious, is thinking about seriousness, thinking about committing, um, wanting stability with you, wanting to kind of stick around and see what happens. And Ace of Cups, I've been getting marriage energy for a lot of you, Virgo, as well, like proposals lately. So you may have somebody, if it's not now, it could be a prediction, okay? This person could be thinking about the Ace of Cups or wanting to go on a date with you or eat and drink with you, right? The Ace of Cups can indicate that. Looking forward to, to that as well, okay? Especially if you have somebody new in your life whom you are talking to and maybe there is some sort of a date arranged. There's three of Cups right here. Another thing I'm seeing here is that this person will be thinking about, will, will Virgo get along with my friends? Will Virgo get along with my family? Okay, this is like a social setting, could be friends, family. And then actually these three girls are sisters. In the original, the original meaning of the Three of Cups, these three are sisters. But um, anyways, we've got the son in my verse, but it could be friends or, you know, family any family members doesn't matter but I just feel that and for some of you maybe maybe you do have a family member who has been thinking a lot about you <laughs> and maybe somebody who's also for those of you Virgo if you're pregnant or struggling to get pregnant somebody could be thinking about in your family whom is concerned about you could be thinking about oh um is Virgo pregnant or will Virgo get pregnant but that's just for some of you, Virgo. But I definitely see very strongly that somebody thinking about offering you commitment, giving you what you want, because they really want you. They want to be with you. Um, Ten of Cups, they want this happily ever after with you. And the pentacles, so many pentacles are here. So it just makes me feel like their feelings towards wanting a commitment with you, they are super strong because they see your value, they see your worth. 
already few cards are pointing towards reconciliation. If this is someone you're separated from, they could also be thinking about how hardworking you are. Right? Eight of Pentacles is a very hardworking energy. And that, again, the Nine of Wands in Reverse, recently I've been getting this message in my head as well. It's um, that feeling of if somebody wants to be with you, it's because you make them feel like really safe because you can trust, they can trust you or it could be you, okay? Somebody who can make you feel safe, somebody whom you can trust with your life, with your money. <laughs> but I don't recommend that. You should always have your own money, your own bank account. Maybe if there's a joint account, it's, it's fine, but that's just like for bills, like two person chip in, uh, chipping in. And it should go towards the bill, but don't ever <laughs> share your bank account with somebody like you, your your entire money, okay? Because I've done that before, and boy, did I regret it. <laughs> not that, not because of anything, but your partner. You know, it's very risky. Number one, and number two, um, especially when you are when you do that with somebody who's not very good with money, who's very reckless with money, then you're going to be in trouble, okay, Virgo? But anyway, this is your reading. It actually looks beautiful. It makes me feel like this person is really thinking about really like solid thoughts about you, but they may have, you know, the sun in reverse. They're still not very, very 100% sure yet, but it's not really that bad. And hence the Knight of Pentacles is here. That means, you know, I let me move slowly towards Virgo. You know, slow and steady wins the race. I don't want to rush um, into anything as of yet right now. But they have strong feelings in regards to a strong intention as well in regards to work on this connection if both of you separated or to um, if it's someone new really wanting to put in work into this connection because they can see this future here. They're not just here to like play around, okay? They've been thinking a lot about it. But you know, the three of wands in reverse and the four of pentacles in reverse, again, um, it's them, especially if, again, if there is another option, somebody else, somebody else in the picture, but they paled in, they pale in comparison anyways, okay, Virgo, so. I feel like all they're doing is thinking about you with the Ace of Cups right here. And obviously there are a couple of cards already that are pointing towards them thinking about you. But it's something super solid though, Virgo. Very, very solid. All right, Virgo, this is your reading. I hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you did, don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe. But hit like and subscribe anyways if you want to enter um, the giveaway. Once a week, I'll give away. I'll pick one. I'll do my little. I'll do my own little system. I mean, I used to do that during live reading, but anyway, I will pick one uh, winner every week, where I'll give you a free personal reading with one question, and um, it really depends on my mood. Sometimes I give you one question. Sometimes I'll give you two questions, but um, but yeah, once a week. But make sure you comment, I love Virgo, in the comment box. And make sure you like and subscribe and be notified as well. So you need to click on the bell notification, bell notification button. <laughs> and so you'll be notified when I post anything, okay? And uh, winners will be announced on the community page. All right, take care, Virgo, and feel free to subscribe to my other channels as well. My main channel is called Chelsea Love Tarot, and my travel vlog channel uh, is called Chelsea Vlogs. All right, take care, Virgo. I hope to see you back here again soon. Love ya. Bye.